Hey everyone, it's your buddy Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at Chainlink. Right now, Link is up 3.06% in the last 24 hours, up to 24.52, continuing to see Link do very, very well, as well as the entire market as a whole. If we take a look at the last week, we see an 11% increase, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of volatility continuing to take place. However, we saw a drop all the way down to 22.05 earlier in the week. August 8th, actually 9 p.m. So crazy to see it back all the way to 2452 yet again. And hopefully we can get back to that $25 mark that we saw August 7th. If we actually take a look at the last month, we do see a 33.56% increase coming all the way from $13. Definitely a great increase. A lot of people understood that, you know, Chainlink was very, very undervalued anywhere in that, you know, 13 to $18 range is just an automatic buy for me personally. And now seeing at twenty four fifty two, it just guarantees that, you know, it was a good buy. And now we are continuing to have a lot of people jumping in and on board at this $24 mark with the volume in the last 24 hours being at $1.1 billion, continuing to see a rise in the market cap at $10.7 billion. I do believe there's a lot to talk about. So let's take a look at the first thing, and that's going to be the crypto market as a whole. So 1.62% increase overall. We see Bitcoin very close to 46,000, up 4%. The entire market pretty much is green. If we take a look at some of the highest market cap coins, we're seeing Cardano very close to $1.50. We're seeing Chainlink, like I said, up to about 24.50, 3 or 3.06% of an increase. Just a lot of coins doing very, very well. And I want to take a look at see really why is Chainlink going to be one of those coins, in my opinion, that is still very, very undervalued. So the first thing we see is one of the world's leading weather data providers, AccuWeather, will launch an official Chainlink node, bringing high quality weather data to leading blockchains to power hybrid smart contracts like parametric insurance for millions of locations worldwide. This is absolutely huge, and I think that's a big thing to note. Uh, we have Chainlink God ETH down here talking about it here. So amazing cryptographically signed first-party weather data brought on-chain through an AccuWeather Chainlink node will enable many hybrid smart contract use cases. And I do believe this is true. We are going to see a lot of use cases continuing to come about with this Chainlink uh, taking advantage of AccuWeather and definitely jumping on board. We see we're excited to announce that Chainlink and Filecoin are launching a new joint grant program for devs to drive hybrid smart contracts contract innovation involving bi-directional connectivity between Chainlink, uh, really decentralized oracles, and Filecoin immutable storage. So definitely a cue, uh, you know, a, a cue that we are going to see massive growth in this space. And I think Chainlink's shown this before, shown the amount of possibilities and potential behind the coin that we are going to see more utility, more use cases continue really to come out as this ecosystem continues to grow. We also see we're excited to announce Chainlink's collaboration with Google Cloud, enabling smart contracts to now really kind of query NOAA weather data assets on Google. BigQuery for powering on-chain parametric insurance based on reliable weather measurements from 9,000 plus stations. This is absolutely huge. Smart contracts can now access the highest quality weather data hosted on Google Cloud's public data sets. This data can be used to power innovative applications applications such as parametric crop insurance like Arbol Market, and that's what we see here down below. Um, so it's great, like I said, to continue to see huge, huge partnerships here, huge definitely inquiries that we are going to continue to see bigger and better uh, You know, things happening across Chainlink as we see utility continues to grow. We also see Google Cloud hosting, obviously, NOAA weather data. Chainlink and I made it available on Ethereum. Now devs can build DeFi weather prediction markets and DeFi crop insurance with InsureTech. So continue like I said, to see huge things coming about with Chainlink. We actually jump on to the next one. We see Parafinance will integrate Chainlink keepers to automate daily trading competitions through highly reliable and verifiable off-chain computation. Chainlink keepers will ensure trading competitions finish on time and rewards are automatically distributed. So like I said, some of these bigger things coming about on Chainlink are going to make massive, massive movements as we get closer to that bull mark bar too. I do believe a lot of institutional investors are going to realize what Chainlink is going to do for them. They're going to realize what Chainlink's possibilities are and why this coin specifically is one of my favorites out there on the crypto market. You know, I talk a lot about Chainlink, uh, you know, VeChain, Cardano, Polkadot. Chainlink is definitely, like I said, one of my favorites. It's definitely going to stand out, um, you know, among so many other altcoins. I think it does so much so well that uh, there's no reasons it shouldn't continue to be a success. Jumping into the next one, we see Dtrade Org, a substrate IO based decentralized exchange, will integrate Chainlink price feeds into its L2 solution to receive precise tamper proof 
sub-second Oracle updates across various asset classes, really kind of securing the training of its perpetual contracts. And I think, you know, with this, we're going to continue to see more growth in Chainlink. We also see NFT-based GameFi protocol. Crypto Meta Tech has integrated Chainlink VRF to select winners for LP prize pools and generate random attributes for cross-game NFT cards and items, ensuring users that the platform's outcomes are probable fair and tamper-proof as well. We also see Dino X Project has in integrated Chainlink VRF into its world of living and breeding NFT dinosaurs. So Chainlink's secure and verifiable source of randomness will help in both determining the breed of Dino X eggs at Genesis and distributing varying staking rewards. So there's a lot to really take in there. I just want to talk about just a few of them. Uh, I do want to talk about, you know, the price predictions for the end of the year and end of the bull market part two. However, I do want to really kind of reiterate how big of a deal, in my opinion, Chainlink is at this $24 price point. I believe Chainlink's definitely going to be a $200 price point by the end of the bull market part two. I think that's definitely within range. Uh, Chainlink specifically just has so much utility possible because of what it does. Uh, if you don't really understand what Chainlink is, I'll give you guys a brief understanding with the summary. And then I do expect you guys, if you want to invest yourselves, to always do your own research, deep dive into Chainlink, see what it's all possible to do, uh, you know, capable of, I guess I should be saying, and, you know, see what's uh, really all there and available to Chainlink for the future. So Chainlink is an Ethereum token that powers the Chainlink decentralized Oracle network. This network allows smart contracts on Ethereum to securely connect to data or really external data sources, APIs, and payment systems, allowing for so much possibility and endless opportunities there. And I think if we actually give it a quick refresh, see where we're at right now, I want to talk about by the end of the year, where could we see Chainlink? As we continue to see growth in this last week and month, you know, Chainlink is one of those coins that I do believe will continue to do very, very well with a bull market part two. If we do get, you know, started on that, it depends obviously when that takes place if we fully get out of this manipulation and fud restrictions don't completely damper the crypto space altogether i do expect chain link to easily be pushing closer to a hundred dollars by the end of the year possibly 120 and then by the end of the bull market part two i do suggest about a 200 to 400 dollar price range definitely a possibility for chain link i said this before and i'll say it again the utility that's being provided by chain link the constant partnerships if we actually like i said look at chain link specifically just go to the uh, official channel on Twitter. You can see that 53 minutes ago they had the Dino project and then they had the, you know, GameFi. They have so much going on constantly on their Twitter, just constant uh, possibilities that, uh, you know, opportunities really just continuing to show how many partnerships a day they grab. Uh, and this is, like I said, a Monday, um, you know, midday Monday, and you're going to be able to see there's just so much here for us to look at already. And I think, you know, as the week moves on, you'll be able to kind of notice how much really goes on and continues to grow during the week. So I think, you know, with Chainlink, it's going to be one of those coins we continue to watch on the channel. So make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on and like the video. I'll keep you guys up to date with Chainlink as well as so many other altcoins across the space. A lot to look into today. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one.